whether it's fire or air or water or ice the earth currently is witnessing some of the most extreme weather events ever seen by humans with multiple countries burning with wildfire throughout july and august and then now being inundated by terrifying floods even as cyclones are intensifying in the ocean multiple cyclones Europe particularly has been experiencing an interesting weather phenomenon because of which countries like Greece that were burning until 2 weeks ago went from a fully fiery state to extreme flooding and so much flooding that in fact cars are being washed into the sea we're going to be talking about a very specific atmospheric phenomenon that is currently hovering over Europe that is leading to this kind of extreme weather called the omega block The omega block is an upper atmospheric weather pattern. It resembles physically in structure the letter omega with a low high low pattern moving in the west to east direction. And because of how they look, they are called omega blocks. These are not new. They are well-known phenomenon and do occur globally. Due to the present omega block There is heat and warm weather in central Europe but southwestern Europe is underwater. So what is this omega block and why does it cause such extremes? Omega block is a kind of atmospheric block which in itself is a phenomenon that blocks the regular flow of atmospheric weather systems. Winds move from west to east in the mid latitudes around the globe and they consistently flow in this direction and in this way as a part of the jet stream as well but sometimes the flow is interrupted or is just pushed upwards and disrupted in a way that the winds in the upper layers of the atmosphere start taking a north south direction as well forming a huge dome like structure This becomes a large scale pattern that effectively remains stationary because it's so high up in the atmosphere and thus this entire region starts blocking wind flow as well as cyclones and anticyclones. Such atmospheric blocks can persist for several days and weeks leading to an extended period of the same kind of weather under a particular region even as neighboring regions experience the opposite or different weather. Such blocks themselves are typically a high pressure ridge in the center on the curved part of the omega shape. The area inside the high experiences heat while the lows on either side experience rains. This is what is currently happening over Europe as well. Atmospheric blocks are not abnormal, they are normal, but the frequency and duration of blocks experienced is rapidly growing with global heating. We can observe the change almost on a year-on-year -year trend. As atmospheric and sea surface temperatures rise, there is more evaporation making the air saturated with water. Thus, when it rains, it pours like never before. In coastal regions the rise in sea surface temperature can also trigger very large hurricanes or cyclones or typhoons all the same thing and this omega block has been accompanied by an unusual but a known phenomenon here called a medicane a medicane is a mediterranean hurricane or a hurricane here that starts to behave like a tropical cyclone such as the ones that we see in india This medicane has been driving the rains in Greece inundating the country as well as nearby countries and regions there. It's not just medicanes though omega blocks can also trigger heat waves by the formation of heat domes where heat is trapped in the form of a dome because of cooler winds above preventing hot air from rising. This omega block today is moving over Europe and is interrupting the jet stream moving from extreme heat and fires in west and southern Europe to now extreme rains with heat now moving on to central Europe. Of course at the moment flooding isn't restricted to just Greece today there is flooding all over the globe. Bulgaria is underwater as is Turkey. China is also flooding, Brazil is also flooding, coastal Americas are flooded in places, interior Europe is flooded, north India is flooded, and these extreme weather phenomena are only going to get worse as our infrastructure starts to crumble around us under the weight of nature. 2023 has seen a lot of extreme events especially in the form of fires and flooding. 
as large parts of the northern hemisphere dried up during summer causing forests to catch fire and burn uncontrollably and now rains that are too excessive for humans to go about with their daily lives these weather events alone from this year resulted from just 1.2 degrees of rise in global average temperatures we are expected to cross 1.5 in a few decades and are in fact on the path of reaching over 3 degrees if we do not drastically cut down our emissions to not just net zero but complete zero while these weather events are the most extreme that we've seen today they are likely to be the least extreme events in our future